Hi everyone, Saranuva here and I'm back again with another Mining Roots video, this time for Pyrite Ore. Now, Pyrite Ore was introduced in Cataclysm and is pretty much the biggest cash cow in mining at the moment outside of um, current uh, retail. Now, the reason for that is Pyrite Ore is used for Pyrium Bars and Pyrium Bars are used for Vial of the Sands. That is the biggest cash generator at the moment in terms of mounts. So. What I'd like to do today is take you through two of the best routes that I use to mine up pyrite ore. Before we start though, I highly recommend using an add-on called GatherMate 2. This is an overlay tool that shows previously found mining nodes on the map and is essential in understanding and planning the correct route for mining. To help you out whilst farming, there is also a database of previously known mining nodes that you can import. It'll show you little silos on the minimap of previously discovered nodes after you import this so it makes everything infinitely easier as you go going around these routes that I'm going to describe today. GatherMate 2 is also useful for gathering professions such as herbalism, archaeology and more so download and import the database using the links in the description. Now the first main area I go to is Twilight Highlands and I always start just north of uh, Dragon Moor Port. Now I'd again Everything that I've suggested is sticking to the cliff edges. So we want to head towards Thundermar and then we want to head um, a little bit um, around the Vermilion Redoubt and then just w work your way through the um, through the cliff edges through Victor's Point and then loop around the back of the Bastion's Twilight. Head into the Elementium Depths, um, back into Crush Blow and then from there it's a little bit of a free-for-all in terms of where we actually want to go. Um, I recommend looping around Dunwald Ruins and then heading into the main river area around Blood Gulch and then what you basically are going to do there is just go all the way along the, the right hand side towards Dragonmoor Port and then back on yourself. Now the next route that I recommend is in Uldum and we want to be starting in the north just of uh, Obelisk of the Moon. Now again sticking cliff edges, um, have a little bit of a, a wander around the, um, the, the water area and head down towards Schnott's Landing. Halfway down there though, back on yourself and come back up towards the Temple of Uldum and then around the Obelisk of the Moon again. This is the most efficient route possible. You go into the river area and then you want to be going into the, uh, the Achenet Fields, then cutting right the way across and missing out city, uh, the lost city of Tolvia. Um, head towards the Cursed Landing around the back of Halls of Origination, then Obelisk of the Stars and then again heading north um, and heading round towards Cartoot's Tomb and just sticking through to the ridges uh, um, of the cliffs all the way to the end and then basically resetting back at the Obelisk of the Moon. That is the most efficient route. I hope you found the video useful and as always please like and subscribe so that you can be notified when I release more videos like this one. Please feel free to follow me on all of the other social channels where you'll be notified of all of the news and the updates that I'll be releasing. But as per, stay safe, take care and I'll speak soon.